Well, let me talk a little bit about social media. Um, this is kind of how it works, at least in my experience working with couples who turn to recover from adultery. <clears throat> uh, you, you've been up at 3 a.m. taking care of baby, sick kids, something like that. You're kind of wired. They're finally asleep. You sit down at the computer and you think to yourself, I wonder whatever happened to Susie. When easier times existed and you weren't uh, having all this responsibility and life was simpler and more fun, okay? So you look her up and you find 10,000 Susies out there, but you don't quit. You keep looking. And basically, you find her. And so what you do, you email a nice, simple thing. Hey, good to hear from you. You know, I got two kids. How are you doing? What you? And, and people begin to talk. Now, here is the issue. If you stay in touch with Susie for 30 days, an old girlfriend of yours that you used to be infatuated with, within those 30 days, you will become confused about your marriage. You will begin to think you married maybe the wrong person. If you stay in touch with Susie for an additional 30 days, you will be finding ways to sleep with her because you don't have to build attraction and infatuation for Susie. You already have it stored in your brain. And when it's re-triggered by a reconnection with her, you take up right where you left off. And so we say in the field, zero to 60, you'll be in bed.